It's estimated that over 500 million metric tons of rice are consumed each and every year. Well, you're going to need something to cook that in. So Adam's here and he's going to tell us all about rice cookers. And that is because rice is a global staple. It's eaten in practically every country. In different cultures, there are ingrained preferences for different types of rice and different textures. And an electric rice cooker is supposed to make it easy to cook to your preferences. We tested nine different models here. The prices we paid ranged from $19 to $164. Testers use these to make small and large batches of long grain white rice, small batches of short grain white rice, and full batches of short grain brown rice. Okay. What they were looking for were all the grains to be tender but with a little hint of chew, and they wanted consistent cooking throughout the whole batch. So no hot spots. No hot spots, no overdone spots. Okay. A bunch of these made actually great rice out of the gate. Some of them had a learning curve where testers had to get to know them a little better and adjust the ratios of water to rice. What they did find though is that those that had a longer cooking cycle, say 65 minutes as opposed to a shorter one of 30 minutes, generally made better rice. Hmm. Some of these were equipped with a technology called NeuroFuzzy Logic, which monitors the conditions inside the cooking bowl and will adjust both the water and the cooking temperature as you go to make sure that the rice turns out perfect. And both of the ones that testers chose in the end had that NeuroFuzzy Logic. Really? So yeah. your appliances are smarter than you are. <laughs> that, which is not hard in my case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Testers also really appreciated controls that were clear and easy to use and simple they like to have some sort of indication like a counter that would tell you where you were in the cooking process and when you were going to be done and when it would switch to its keep warm mode, which they all had. One other thing that made a difference to testers was because the ratio of water to rice is important and all of the cooking bowls were dark in finish, if the water marks, if the measurement markings were in white on the bowl, they were a lot easier to see than that red one there. So that one has the dark bowl, but the measurement markings are embossed into the dark bowl and you can't really see them. You can't see anything in there. Nothing. In terms of cleaning these machines, testers preferred the ones where the lids came off completely or at least had an insert that they could pull off. One of them didn't and that one was more of a pain to clean. Okay. Two of the machines made actually really good rice right out of the gate, and that was these two right here. They had less of a learning curve than all of the others. In the end, it was this machine that won the day. This is the Zojirushi five and a half cup Fuzzy Logic rice cooker and warmer. It was $164. It made fantastic rice, no matter what kind, in what size batch, and it had all of those little features that the testers really liked. So you pay a little bit more, but you get foolproof rice. For all your 500 million metric tons. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> well, if you want to pick up the winner, it's the Zojirushi 5.5 cup Neuro Fuzzy Rice Cooker and Warmer. And it retails for $164. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.